This roof is off a four-door 58 or 59 Jaguar. So it's a four-door roof put onto a two-door. And the only reason um, we've tried it because I like the shape of it. And the shape of it really does look good. It's, it's come along quite nicely. Uh, all the window pieces that I have, I'm going to clean up the edges of them. And then we're going to start applying the window to the back of the we've car. We've got Doug painting the, the Phoenix sign. If we want to come over and take a look at that. Uh, we managed to get the pieces that we wanted to get on the Phoenix sign. Uh, we've got them welded on. Doug's actually just mad hatting it with a paintbrush right at the present moment. He's doing a fantastic job. Uh, the sign's really going to look good. So this is the piece that we made to fit the sign. Now we're just putting some uh, direct to metal paint on it and going for it. As we can see down here on the floor, that's basically, I know it's not right in shape, but that's basically what we were going for. And that is basically what we have. Uh, we're pretty near 14 feet high so when we go to put it in the shop we'll have a little bit room or uh, I think 13 and a half feet tall so it gives us a little bit so when you stand it up um, it will look good we sand the metal with the DA so the direct to metal or direct to metal paint will stick and uh, we're going from there Nathan has got the shifter in his hand right at the present moment he's still making linkage and brackets and shims and just all that sort of stuff and it has to be done a certain way to make it work uh, like I said yesterday, if, if he gets to that, we'll go and take a look at that maybe after we do the window. But I said yesterday, I'm going to put the window in, so that's what we're going to do. And we are on air. Uh, Jolene looks amazing today, as always. She woke up at 7 o'clock this morning, got me coffee in bed. That was awesome. Alrighty, so I did not clean these pieces off. We went to fixing the sign, went to doing that, so I didn't get these cleaned off yet. So you'll get to see the whole thing. Trunk lid is not in place because it has fell down and it's just falling down as I beat and pound on it. That's okay. I'm going to get my glasses on. We're going to put this window in. Let's do it. All right, I'm going to clean some pieces up here. Where this, where, if you want to come over and take a look, you can see where uh, the roof got welded together. You can see the lead that's put in there, how thick that is right there. That's lead all in there. And uh, I'm going to have to sand it out to get to be able to weld it. Got this window cut in three pieces. this window or on this framework this was the very back of the roof on the 59 Jaguar there was no more metal 
to cut down there to give me any more. Generally, you want to cut a little bit more than this probably if you were cutting the back window section out, but there was no more because that was right on the back shelf and then the package tray came out and that's basically where I cut that line. There was no more there, so I'm thinking to myself, I wish I had more metal, but there was no more metal. I actually cut the roof on the line that it had. Got lead in this piece also. So you can see right on that corner how thick that is. And you can tell. Did you get to see it? Okay, just gonna knock this off. Now, what I'm hoping to do is I'm hoping to fit these corners up and then weld the corners back in and then cut the rest. But, see I've got to, I'm going to have to do a little bit of work to get that to make it work, to be honest with you. When I put that up there like it like it feels like it should be, like it wants to be, I've got a gap going down here. So I actually want that to come down a little bit. So I'm going to cut a little bit off this back corner here. You can see the gap here. I should almost cut. Got to get a marker going here. Got to get a marker going. Back window. I like it. I like it up to where it's at like that. I'm not sure to be honest with you. I'm not sure. This is all on the fly. <laughs> so, you can see there's no gap there, and it's fitting pretty good. But if I pull that up, that means there's going to be a gap there. So, also, where I have the roof cut in half, I'm thinking I'm just, I'm just going to snip this wherever that line is and then make this one snip to it. You know, I'll just keep everything in the exact same playing field, I'm thinking. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to buzz a little bit off this. And I think I want to. I think I want to. I'm going to buzz a little bit off this back. So I don't want really to want to take that much, but basically what I'm saying is I've got to take... Let's take some off and see what happens. See, I, I just want to get that down on the car is what I want. And I'm going to pull that other side off. I'm going to sand that off. Sometimes, just hope I'm doing the right thing, that's all. like that. Just wanna, it fits up in there, so why would I not try to get it in there? Come on now, baby. Like Tina Turner said, be good to me. You gotta be good to me. Not bad. We got a little bit of a gap going on there. I wanna take a little bit more off. As you can see, I'm getting that gap going away. That gap's going away a little bit there. And we still got room up there, so that means I still can bring it down. I think it's the inside holding us up more than anything. Let's knock a little bit more off. Take 
Now we're, now we're cooking with gas. Got a nice straight line going on there. See how that's fitting along there? That's fitting along there nice. Got a gap in there, that's okay. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's okay. I can go over. Let's straighten this out. We got a little bend there where that lead was. I wanna straighten that out. How do I wanna straighten that out? to want to do. I want to get a screwdriver in there. You can see how it's just wrinkled up on me. Yeah, it's not going to do it. Don't want to spread that apart like that. It's going to beat on a little bit more, I guess. See if I get it. Hmm. Fine. Straighten it a little bit. Now we're talking and getting a little bit closer. Now, we got a line there, and I'm going to try to stick with that line if I can. Now, I'm going to get a step ladder, get up there and mark that line in the center. I'm going to cut that off a little bit. Don't like doing that with my glasses. I hate that. Sorry, but looking underneath, over top of them glasses. The roof seems a little, a little bit high. Got a little boiny there. The roof seems a little bit high there in the center. And I can just take the zip cut, run it through, and then bring it down a little bit as I go. But I'm going to say that I'm happy with the way that fits right there. And I'm going to cut that and try to keep my line the same, going all the way across. Not bad. Actually, I'm going to change it just a little bit. I'm going to bring it over there instead. Okay, we're gonna go with, I'm gonna cut that. Let me think now, let me think. No, I don't wanna sink. You know, if you don't think, sometimes you will sink. And what I mean by that is something will go wrong. We're going pretty good there. Looks pretty good. Now we're going to get that other side going to the exact same mark. That's what I'm thinking. Let's take this off. Let's get the other one fitting. Got the front all welded up. Got the back welded up. Got it ground off so it looks good. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, that fits really good along there. That fits really good. I'm gonna shave some off the back of this one. Get it to come down a little bit. I'm gonna cut this one because I got the grinder.
Let's straighten that out a little bit like we did the other side. You see how that bent in there a little bit. We'll just pull that out a little bit. What's going on is, I've got uh, an inside construction and an outside construction, that's all there was to it. I'm just sliding the roof panel inside that construction to make it stay. Now, that fits good on that side. I got that fitting good. Awesome. Awesome. Just a little bit more. I'm going to do that a little bit more. And then I'm going to cut this off. So what's going on? Because I'm thinking that if I get this side over to that line, I make this side fit to that line, I should be able to put them on and weld them together. That's what I'm thinking. So, I've got my, sitting on my line here, that's fitting good there. It's going good there, seems to be. It is, actually. I've got Let's cut that line, let's get that line up there. That won't hurt none. <laughs> that looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna take that and cut that off. Hope that's working. That's looks good. Alrighty. Let's cut this line off. And I'm gonna cut it off, hoping that we'll have a little bit of a gap so we can weld it back together. Just trying to clean up the edges so when I go to weld it, it's clean. Now, this is the moment, I guess. This is the moment that we're, we're going for. This is all just pieces of the car. You know, this is not, this wasn't here when we started, obviously. This is the roof. Uh, this is a part of the roof, so this was all not here. The roof is off another car, so we're basically just kind of sliding everything together and see if we can make it work. All right. On our line, looks good. That can come down where it has to come down. That was I've got a dent right here. I just wonder if I should fix it now. I probably should fix it now before I weld it in. You see a dent right there? I should fix that, but I want to try something on first. She's the big back window forward. The big back window forward. Forward truck with a big back window, a small back window. Ooh. See what we got it looking like. Looking good there. 
Nice. 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 And then weld that back together there. Nice. So, that makes me happy. And what I want to do is, is I want to come over here and just see if the grade... I'm going to end up pushing that down just a little bit when I go to weld that together. And the reason being is a little up there in the center because I can obviously see it. It's got a little high spot on it, but everything's going really good right at the present moment. Uh, I want to fix that dent. Nice. Happy. So now you see this piece in the back. This piece in the back um, is going to have to be ground and cut also. Because this, this piece here, if you, if you want to come take a look, our windows leaned ahead on, on this Jaguar. Um, the roof must have been up straighter. We've got it leaned a four. We got it leaned ahead a little bit, which makes it go down. We we can put it on any way we want to, right? It's a roof off a different car. But you can see how that Jaguar. When I cut that like that, that Jaguar window originally would have stood up, basically up more in the front. Or the window would have stood up straighter. We've got the window laying down in a little bit, so I'm on, I'm going to have to make this fit like that. And I have not got a whole bunch of metal down here to weld to the car, so we're going to have to see what happens in the end. I might have to add a piece to it, I'm not sure, uh, and I might not have to. It depends on what goes on. Let's pull the piece off the back there, so I'm going to fix that dent before I tack that in there. Pull this off. Pull the other one off. W, you got that sign looking good, buddy. Do you want it turned over? No, no, no. No? no. You want to leave it like that? Okay. Okay, get a hammer. Get a hammer, good dolly. I guess it does not much matter. I just want to get that pulled out before I put that on there. I'm going to go inside, I think. Got the door cut open. Door works good. Man, we're cooking with gas. Cooking with gas. Uh, probably should have fixed that before I, before I put that roof on. Something about a, ouch, a dent like that, uh, we all must realize, we don't have to realize, but we all must realize that the metal has been stretched. If it's been dented in, the metal has been stretched. So when you pull it out, you're generally not going to get it back in the exact same spot that you, that you want it because it's been stretched. So generally what happens is, generally what happens is I, I leave a little bit of the damage there because I know in order to fix that dent and make it sort of right you'd have to bring it all out to make it high. Um, for me I've come to realize that that metal is stretched and, and you're not getting it back the exact same place where you put it where it was before because it's been stretched like I said that. So sometimes it's just best to leave a little bit of damage there when you clean it off you would fill it. Not going to do any filling on this right now but you can Basically, you think, like you watch sometimes the people pulling out dents and fixing fenders and filing them and all that stuff, but they actually they have stretched the fender out further than it really was before in order to get that excess metal to go, not away, but visually look good. So re you really have to be careful. Like, you really have to be careful. And if you're watching that, if you're watching somebody pick and file metal, um, so it looks excellent again. You have to think about how much material are they getting rid of when they run in a, a file over top of it. You're shaving off metal and making things so thin that you're, it's a hard deal. So you really have to, uh, what can I say? 
decide in your own brain where you want to go with it. With me, I'm always, I'm always concerned of how much metal I'm taking away from the cards. I'm always concerned with that. And the reason being is because I want as much metal as I can possibly get to make myself happy. Now, just thinking here, I should scratch. No, I'm going to scratch that up. Uh, I got a line going across here. I'm going to leave the line, and the reason being I'm going to leave the line because I'll put that piece in, and then I'll clean the metal up to weld to it. But I want to get this window put in where I want to put in, and then I'll grind the metal off. But I want to, I'm just looking at it at the present moment. Where, where I cut, I shaved this one back a little bit because it was a little dis different distance there. I'm going to basically butt weld or that piece right there and on the other side on this part is overlap because the window is going up inside the roof because we're moving it up a little bit we'll, we'll connect it there and we'll connect it in a couple other places and then we'll come back and just cut it and make it fit Get the welding on. side maybe. Nope. Still got the tabs on the where the trunk lid goes on. There's just tabs holding it in place or else it would fall right down in place. Alrighty. I'm going to now I want to match that up right there. Ah, what's going on? That's what's going on. Hear that? Bop, 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 bop. We're on the, the wire speed's on 10, way too fast. Did you hear that? Bop, 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 bop. Way too fast. One tack is holding it. One tack, we're just holding it for now. mess going on there. You can hear it going bleep. That's called lead. Okay, we're held, we're held in place. I can take and blow that off. Okay, I'm going to get up here and knock the center in place. I'm hoping that it's in place. It's going to line these up and match them up. Line them up and match them up. Actually, let's do this. Got a little... It might even help. Ouch. Now, that hanging down on that, that actually makes that fit look, feel pretty good. Look pretty good. I'm going to push down a little bit, and I'm going to tack it together. Now, I'm going to put two on that. I'm going to take that off, and we're going to see what we got. Looks nice. It's got a nice got a nice grade there going on for the back window. There's no big, no big um, boo-boo going on there. It looks good. I like it. Um, okay. It's good. 
Got a little bit of work to do there, that's for sure. Let's get the center piece going. I want to take a look on this side. It's got a nice gradual grade. What I'm looking for, I don't want that stuck up in the air. I want a nice gradual grade so it looks like you know, something really nice is going there. It looks good. Exact same as that, a nice gradual grade. Now. Man. See, in order for me to get that in there going right, look at the gap we got going all the way across. Quite a gap going on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to chew the back piece off on the inside. Might be able to. One, and also, what I'm thinking is, this is what I'm thinking, I cut that piece off. That's the piece I cut off there that fits it perfectly on there. And I cut that piece, this end here, this end here was cut off there. But I cut it off in the straight what can I cut? I cut it off in the straight, so I didn't cut it in the round part, so I cut it off straight. So I'm hoping, or I'm thinking, or I'm hoping that I can just cut that off here instead of taking a little bit off each end. I'm not interested in doing that. I just want to take and cut a little bit off this. And then I can try to fit that in there. Okay, let's cut that off. Across there. Put that in there again. Just a, just a little bit. Be shy, Chad. Don't be shy. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, that has to be lean forward like that. See that gap I got it going on there? has to be leaned forward to make that fit right. Do not know, well, I say do not know. Um, if I put that on there like that, that fits perfectly on, it's gonna go on this side, check it out. Fits perfectly like that. Now, I cannot, what I was thinking is, that I was going to maybe sand down this back piece to let it go down further, but I cannot do that. I cannot do that. And the reason I cannot do that is come take a look on in the, in the, this side. I cannot do that because if, if I sand the back side of this and let this come down, well then I lose all this, right? So I cannot do that. I'm gonna clean that up, tack that in there. We're gonna have to, or I'm gonna have to make a piece of metal and what I'll do is I'll Can I pry this up to it? I don't know. I don't know. Well, well that's basically what we're going to do. Jolene suggested me, can I pry this up to it? Well, if I pry that up to it, that takes away from this, this line here. We have two lines going on here. We have this line and this line. If this line, this line wants to match up with that line, what I mean by that shape we got going on, we, we 
um, round, we bent that square stock in there to do this shape, same as the window, and we also bent it that way to give it some shape for that. But if I pull it up, then I'm basically back where I was. Maybe not. I might be able to pull it up, make it fit right, and then bend that down a little bit and put it back where it was. Let's see, let's see what happens. I'm gonna take and clean this off a little bit. Just clean the ends off a little bit and knock it on there. think, Doug, if FINA was still going, you might get a job at FINA. <laughs> Be the grads man. That looks good, buddy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Awesome. Hey, will you, will you do, the, do the edges on them? Make sure that... Oh, dear. <sighs> yeah. Pecky, eh? <laughs> right? Bossy mofo. You think she do a job like her? There you go. Doug's father was in today, and uh, he was the one saying that we, we probably ruined a good car. Um, he was in today and said that it's looking good. Ha! <laughs> it's looking good. Many minds persuaded here. That's a good thing. Yeah. Just lining that up, nailing her right on the... Actually, I'm, I know I'm going to rock and roll that on there, and the reason being is it's in the right place. On this side, now we'll make this side fit. Nah, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Gotta make that fit nice. Perfect. I just want to vice grip that. Make sure that pinch welds together right. There, we're good, we're golden. Now we do have the gap going across the back and it does not matter. Right at the present moment, it does not matter. And the reason being is we're gonna to have to either put a piece of metal on there on this back window part to come down to it or we're going to pull that up be a hard pull be a hard pull right there on the edge where it's welded up like that it probably it's probably going to need a piece of metal going across there and what's going to have to happen or what i'm thinking is this is all good along here what i would do is i would add that piece of metal not on the flat part and add it to it that way I come right up here on the very edge. There's a, there's a, see that bend right there, sweetheart? There's a bend right here where my finger is. I bring that metal from, from this piece up, right up to that edge there. So when we weld it on that edge in there, we could grind that off so it looked like it never had a piece put on it. That's, that's how I want to do that. Now, let's do this. Weld this together. I didn't get my helmet on. Just want to weld that together and make sure that stays. Now. Let's weld the window in. I've got the window sitting in there. The window frame is sitting in there. Happy with it? I'm going to. Uh. It's pretty good. Just gonna stick it to the roof so it don't move anywhere. Stick it to the roof. I'm 
going to start cutting this side. Now that I have that on there, we're overlapped on it. We're overlapped on the roof. This, this, this is going to need a piece down here, but we're going to get this in there, right? Now where it's overlapped there, now I'm going to run the grinder. This is going to be easier than this piece because this piece went over top of the front and then I had to cut it off without seeing it. Well now, I can see exactly where I have to cut. Now I'm going to run my zip cut around the outline of the window and then we're going to pull that metal of the roof up to fit it. I'm going to... Uh, uh, just want to use this flapper wheel for a second, clean up some metal that's around clean up the metal that's around the window so I can weld it to it. We have not got our metal cleaned up good. Now we're going to zip cut. We're going to zip cut that around there and uh, put that window in. So we're in place, let's cut it. Sometimes the lead can be an issue, but just keep on cruising. Keep on cruising. Okay. I'm going to get, what am I going to get? My third arm. Helmet. Where are we at, sweetheart? 43. We'll just do a little bit around this side here. Maybe we'll go over and see if Nathan's got a shifter on, see if what we can, if we can show anything on that. Because I'm excited about the shifter. All right, I've cut that, I've zip cut that. So now we're just gonna try to make everything flushed out. I can weld it together. Don't know if I want that like that. Don't know if I wanna do this first. I think I want to... Hey! Get a step ladder. They're going to do. Now you're talking Chetty. Now you're talking Chetty. She's trying to flush that back window out. Ah, what's going on now? Dog poop. There we go. Probably wondering why I got the helmet on when I'm not using it, <laughs> but that's okay. You're allowed to. Close my eyes. I really want to go easy when I'm zapping that together because we're cutting that metal out from, from the back side. That metal's going to be pulled out from the back side, so I don't want to weld it back in there. So, like I said, just take it easy. 
zapping it on. And that way there, I can pull that out. These, uh, these grinder discs are a little bit funny. They seem to be dull when you first take off. They don't want to cut, and then as soon as you start cutting, they, they go for it. That drop right in place that did. I'm gonna tack that on. Just a little tack. And the reason being is, there's metal underneath there, and we don't want to weld it back on. Level that out. That's all we're trying to do. Level it out and tack it in place. Just want to take a look. See if we're flattened out. See if we're level. further. Tighten that, make that right. Ooh, that's hot. You're hot too, Jolene. I have to tell you that. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. with my fingers and getting it working well. Working well. Beautiful. Now, we have got this side tacked in there really, really good. It's all fitting nice all the way around. I don't feel like I made any more cuts than I had to. That makes me feel good about the situation. Sometimes when you cut something too much or too many times, it, will, it kind of annoys me a little bit, but we got that cut in there nice. Everything, I'm gonna stand back and take a look. That's cut in there really good. Just turn this off for a second. See, Nate's got, got a shifter thing going on. Do we want to try it on, Nate? You want, are you willing to try it on yet? Not quite yet. It's not quite ready yet. Not quite ready yet, he says. I'll go for this side. What's that? If, even if you got a tack on, oh, I suppose you see what's going on. Yep. I got this side to do. Let's cut this side. Going anywhere? 
not going anywhere. Quite a bit of lead in that. Let's bring our welder over, or bring our step ladder over. Thanks, sweetheart. Baby! Lovey dovey old time. Hey, baby. Lovey dovey old time. Good. Wow. I was just going to put that down there. Good. Everything going good? Everything going good? Everything's going good. When you're doing something like this, you basically want to be paying attention full time. If anything's going anywhere, is anything moving? Trying to make sure that it's cut because I want to flush it off. It's kind of a oh, got to take get a little bit, get a little bit of paint or filler off of. All right, we'll go up here where it feels good. We'll get that one tacked on. And then... This helmet is terrible, I can't see. Ah! Yep, yeah, got one tacked on. Stop it. Feels good. Let's put one on here. Good. All right, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Let's cut some more. Try not heat it up too much. I was wondering what was going wrong. You stepped on the car and the car moved. It's like, wow, something just happened. But no, Jolene was going to get on the car. Let's get that up here again, take some filler off it. Do it the whole way. Hey. Yeah. 
that fit in there really nice. We'll just go with that tack back. Now. I'm gonna get my hand up underneath there and get that. An awkward thing I'm doing here. Let it cool for, for a second. Trying to cut that out. Get that out. They aren't the sharpest, are they? <laughs> I went for it. I just cut it. It's kind of annoying me there for a minute, was. Get that up there in place. Nope. Nope, that didn't work. Knock this off. Get that up in place. Take a look at that. Most of that metal that I cut uh, to put in there was stuck inside the window, so it's still there basically. And so, what I got to do now is I got to run around and finish welding that in. That looks, looks really good. Looks really good. What I think I'm going to have to do across the back there is I'm going to have to, what I'll do is I'll put a piece of metal 
across the back. We'll have to put a piece of metal across the back. From here, all the way over there, we'll bring it, we'll stride it to the, to the back, and we'll bring it right up there on that line so we can buff it off so it looks like it's never been put in there. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna see where Nathan's at, and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, make a new ball, brother. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah. Takes time, eh? Yeah, almost there. I'm gonna drop some holes on the floor and then bolt it down. Brian, looks good. All right, Nathan's gonna mess with the with the shifter a little bit more. He's got some holes to drill and, and that sort of stuff. Um, everything had to be bushinged and basically made made on the money where the shifter goes to the shifter, does it not? There cannot be any movement there, or we don't want any movement there. So what's going on? He's making brackets and the shifter linkage and all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll go there, but thanks for coming back. We really appreciate it. I've got, what I've got to do now is I've got to weld the window all the way around and make a piece for the back and then the window's in. Um, once the window's in, then we're gonna go for the front of the roof and basically there's some work that's going to be done there I've got some work to do here I got to work through on the other side I got the roof to do there we'll take you through every step of it and uh, have a great day come back tomorrow we'll be here goodbye